How's it going everybody? Today we've got an awesome video. This is over $10,000 in pickups from this past weekend at the Montreal Sport Card Expo. In this video, we're going to be giving you guys a look at all of our pickups, negotiations, and highlights throughout the week. As always, we've got to start off every show with a box opening, so here's our live reaction. Box of clear cut 2021 oh, nice. tradition from Montreal. Oh, nice. oh gosh. No knife. Right. Anything but a base auto. All right, all right. Young guns. Bernard Sign. Young Guns, cut. Young Guns clear cut or Future Watch clear cut? <laughs> the dark side. Alex, down. great cut. Future Watch yeah. clear cut. Oh. Oh wow, that's sick. Oh, oh, Leon Dreisaitl wow. exclusives. I thought that was McDavid for a second. Now this card we will be giving away to one lucky winner on this video. If you want to be entered into that giveaway, follow all the rules in the description. All right, so here's our four stacks of pickups from the show. Going to start off, of course, with the biggest PC pickup of the weekend. Uh, this is our second deal of the show, and it was such an awesome card. Do you do like a bundle price if I grabbed a few more? Possibly. So I'm interested in the Crosby, the Hasek, the Cider. Okay, so this is the one I'm on the fence for because this is for my friend. Okay. So I'm just gonna um, see on this guy. No could you do? What's that, buddy? Could, could you do 17 on oh, those? See, I came from Pretty much just the taking out the Crosby yeah. at the third. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I. I Signs, just the back of the signs? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Cool. How's the show? Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Couldn't believe it when I saw it in the showcase. Sydney Crosby quad foundations out of five. Some insane patches on that one. Funny enough, I actually have three of the five now for this set. So pretty cool one to pick up. That one by far has the nicest patches I've seen. So was happy with that. And in that deal, I tried to bulk in some other nice value cards. Maritz Cider out of 10. Emerald Diamond, such a cool card. We had the Dominator, can't go wrong there. And the Stevie Y, number to the jersey, clear-cut canvas autograph. For 350 I thought that was a very good sticker price on it. We had another lot that we picked up here. This one I thought was super unique. We had the Borier Salmine quad patches with the autograph from UD Black. Such a huge fan of this set as well. And I thought that was a very, very nice sticker price on it. That is from 0910 Black. And we bulked in uh, the Austin Matthews autograph out of 10 from Stature and a classic Bobby Orr Ultimate Signatures as well. This one here was our first trade of the show and you guys are gonna have to help me on this one because I have no idea what something like this is worth in this condition. Thought I wasn't risking much with the Timu Solani autograph and it's a Gretzky rookie so I took a leap of faith hoping we get a PSA 1 or an authentic slab on this and it can increase the value but again I don't have any idea with this bad of condition there's probably not too many copies in rougher shape. It also has the writing of Jets on the top there so We'll see how that goes. I don't know what the value is on that one. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. And then we also had the Curtis Joseph signature masterpieces thrown in there just as some insurance on top of the Gretzky in the trade. Although I'm a Crosby fan, we had to pick up this little lot here. We had the flashback fabrics of Alex Ovechkin, one of my favorite sets, the flashback fabrics there. So when I saw Ovechkin out of 25, wanted to pick that one up. And this is a beautiful card, a triple autograph, Bobby Hall, Dale Howarchuk, Thomas Steen from OPG Premier back in the day. And that was a really nice sticker tag on that one. All on-card autographs from the old Winnipeg Jets of beauty there. We had two more 101 pickups on the weekend. Here's the Billy Smith. Looks like pad or glove. Autograph 101. And I always like to pick up the 101s, the unique cards, unique tags or patches. These are cards that you don't see every day, so it's nice to scoop them up. And then this one was awesome. A tag autograph of John LeClaire. Legendary inked. That is from 2020-21 SP game used. So a nice Leclerc there to go along with the shield. Now this stack here was all walk-ups, people coming to the booth to sell. This first card, I actually paid full comps on it, paid $5.50, but I thought it was a great time to pick up Matthews. That is a true gem, Young Guns, and these should be going up as the season starts. Behind that, another great investment card as the season starts. Trilogy Rookie Autograph at a two forty nine. dollars We had the Henrik Lundqvist Letterman Auto at a 10 Nice short print. And a beautiful Cujo on the Arizona Coyotes. Emblems of endorsements out of 15 with some nasty patches in there. That one's from 1415, one of the best year cups. Here we had one big lot purchase and we'll start off with the biggest card in the deal was the Alex Ovechkin die cut short print on card autograph from OPG Platinum. That's what kicked things off. Then we had a few value cards, Cole Caulfield, Young Guns, 
Gave Lardy draft day marks at Trevor Zegers Young Guns. These are so low right now. It's crazy. Another Trevor Zegers OPG autograph out of 25. That's an oddball one. You don't see that too often. Uh, Quinton Byfield, another investment player here. Future Watch patch autograph. Three color, slight three color in there with the black. Uh, Jamie Drysdale, Future Watch autograph. And three more cards in that lot were the Capriza PSA 10. Blue Surge retail version. Uh, the Nick Robertson Young Guns PSA 10. This card and this player has a lot of upside coming in this year. It's going to be a make or break year for him. And a Lucas Raymond PSA 10. These were our final walk-up purchases. We had the Jeremy Swayman out of 15 from OPG Platinum. Uh, we had some football in there. Tom Brady can't go wrong with the GOAT downtown. And behind it, this was a oddball card. Taking a flyer on this one. Nikita Kucherov Prism Cracked Ice PSA 10. It is a population report of 22 and uh, not too sure the value on this one hasn't sold in quite some time but kucherov and prism good mix there see how he does this year final two stacks these are a bunch of pickups walking the show floor we had the grant fewer all-time future watch autograph i think that was a really nice sticker i think these go for about 200 dollars uh the jean beliveau jersey autograph another nice sticker price on that one stevie y pro sign from mvp and a Sidney crosby be a player autograph love that card I don't know why Be A Player doesn't get any love at all, but one of my favorite sets growing up. Right behind it, we had a Peter Forsberg beautiful Orem autograph out of 25. Nice legend there. And two Patrick Waz. This one is the Championship Gear Short Print Patch Auto out of 10 from Panini Dominion. And behind it, another Wa. This one's the Montreal Stick, BGS 9, and that is out of 50. You can never go wrong picking up some Patrick Walls. Another Stevie Y autograph here. Any Stevie Y autograph under $100 or around $100 on card, I will be scooping them up all day. It's just so crazy cheap for him. And we had two Penguins cards. This one is a crazy price, but the autograph's a little faded, which is why it was stickered at $275 in Shryman's Auto of Mario. And behind it, another Crosby, Signature Sensations. Sid the Kid. Always trying to pick him up. That one's from 1314 Series 1. Here's a big deal that I did with my buddy Yan. Every show I'm making a deal with him. He always has Hall of Famers, some of the nicest stuff, and it's so easy to deal with him. Here's a beautiful inscribed autograph. That's what makes this card. The inscription of 1999 Stanley Cup. Brett Hall 101 Auto, and that is from 2021, the most recent year Cup. Behind it, we had a beautiful defense squad on-card autograph out of 10. We had Bobby Orr, Ray Bork, Larry Robinson, and Brian Leach. These type of cards are underappreciated. I think they're very cheap for what they should be. And then we had a bunch of bulk and nicer autographs of Hall of Famers for very fair prices. Luke Robitaille, any Luke Robitaille on-card $20 autograph is insanity. <laughs> and then the Gilbert Perot, Brilliance Auto. Paul Coffey in Shryman's autograph. Also the Mike Madonna Stanley Cup signatures out of 50. Marks of distinction of Phil Esposito. Value ones here, Bobby Clark. Bobby Hall, 96 out of 125. This one is very cool. Another inscribed card, Bobby Hall. Steamed endorsements out of 28. I think this is one of the nicest sets from Artifacts. Every single year I chase these cards. And Mike Bossy, rest in peace to the legend. We had Glenn Hall as well. Uh, here's a beautiful SP limited patch autograph out of 100 of Carey Price. And while in Montreal, got to pick up more wall. The signature swatches BGS 9 to finish off the deal. Final stack here, an awesome Dennis Savard 101 Dominion autograph. That was a cool one. One of one. And behind it, this could be a sneaky card. I haven't seen this in a very long time. I love this set so much. Stanley Cup signatures from Panini Limited is why I broke the product back in the day so much. And this is the short print out of 25 of Gordie Howe. So again, pretty expensive for just a base autograph of Gordie, but being one of the more sought after Panini sets, I thought this one was worth the risk. A few more that I'm interested in here. Um, I like the Zegris, the Madonna. Uh, Madonna there. Um, the Kane. So I would like to be two because I think that's yeah. what it comps for that, there. Um, I'd like to be at two on these two. Yeah. Could you do 120 on that guy? Yeah. 520? Yeah. Sure. Cool. Awesome. Got some more legends on this lot. Pavel Datsuk and Nicholas Lidstrom. What a combo that is right there. Dual auto at a 25. The Mikey Moe Stanley Cup signatures. Great price on that at 100. Uh, an investment card out of 49, Triple Diamond Ruby, Trevor Zegers at 250, can't go wrong. 
and Patrick Kane out of 88. Another canvas signatures. I'm a sucker for those canvas autos. Some more Kerry Price. We had the SP limited autograph out of 35. There was so much price and wall at the show, of course, being in Montreal. If you were looking for anything of those two players, it was easy pickings. You could get your selection. Uh, then we had the Howe Brothers, such a cool card, SP Sign of the Times Duel. A card like this is so cheap at the $200 range for those two on the same card. And another Gordy out of five. Team Canada autograph from Panini Limited again. Another really cool Gordy. And we had the Quad Foundations out of 15 of Patrick Wall, the dual colored jerseys there. This next slot was centered around just one card that I was looking for. It was the Mitch Marner rookie autograph out of 99, but we were a little bit off on price. So here's a strategy I try to use quite often. If we're off on the main card, I try to go for a few different cards that he might have less into or not care as much about. So I added in the Brad Park, which is like a $10 autograph, the Vachon, which was around like 30 and the Johnny Busick out of 10. So these three cards, I don't think he cared as much for, and he probably had less into them. And we bulked them in. We got all four for $300. He was happy. And I got some Legends and the Mitch Marner Rookie Auto. Our final two stacks, we had the Vinny LeCavier Triple Patch out of 10. I've said it before. He does not get any love. And it is a shame because great player. He has some great cards with some nice patches in there. Just doesn't get the hobby love he deserves. Then we had another Patrick Wall. Why not? Prime Signatures out of 25 Silver Edition. Uh, the Paul Coffey Legend Signatures and Grant Fuhrer out of 49. We finished off with the Brent Burns Dual Diamond out of 5. Uh, Billy Smith, another canvas autograph out of 31. And the final few, Mike Madano Ingrained Auto. Another Stanley Cup Signatures, this one's Pavel Datsuk. Honorable Numbers, crazy how cheap he is. Henrik Sedin out of 33. Slight two color in there. And we finished off with another investment card coming up with the season, Mitch Marner. I think there's a lot of upside within the next few weeks on that card. All right, so there we have it, guys. That was all of our pickups from the 2023 Montreal Sport Card Expo. Stay tuned. We're just a month away from the big Toronto Expo. We will have a whole bunch of content coming up in anticipation the weeks before and, of course, on the weekend of the show. Keep an eye out for that. And, of course, we got the giveaway for this monster Leon Dreisaitl hit that we had from the 21 Clear Cut Box. One lucky winner on this video is going to be taking home that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. We will see everybody on the next one.